When you're making mashed potatoes, if you're using the wrong potato and you're throwing them in a food processor, you're doing it all wrong. The first mistake people tend to make is they pick the wrong potato. They get waxy or boiling potatoes, which are great for boiling, but they're not so great for mashing. And even if they do buy the right potato, a lot of people end up not cooking them long enough. They cook their potato only until it's just done, the way you would have potatoes with your steak, for instance. But that makes them harder to mash, and you end up with little pebbly pieces in your mashed potatoes, and who wants that? Another problem people have is that they skimp on the milk and cream, so the potatoes end up all stiff. This is bad. You might think that using a food processor to mash your potatoes would be great because it's really quick. This is so wrong. It just turns them into this sort of sticky, pasty lump of glue. It is the worst thing you can do to a potato. Now I'm going to show you the right way to mash potatoes, the same way my mother showed me. The first thing you want to do is pick a starchy potato because it'll fall apart and that's what you want. The starchiest potatoes are russets and the next starchiest are Yukon Golds and both are just fine. Next, you want to peel, rinse, and most important, cut your potatoes into nice, even chunks. That way they'll all cook at the same rate and you won't get any weird little nasty hard bits in your potato. Next comes a crucial step. You want to cook these potatoes until they are falling apart. Put them in cold water and bring them to a boil because that starts to break them down more than if you just put them in boiling water. You want to salt the water because the salt starts to disintegrate the potatoes too. But the most important thing is that you really cook those potatoes about 25 minutes. After you bring them to a boil, let them simmer long and slow until the edges start to fall off and when you stick a knife in the middle, it just all falls apart. Drain the potatoes and then put them right back into that hot pot and start to dry them out over very low heat until they really start falling apart, turning white on the edges and practically turning into mashed potatoes right then and there in the pot. To finish the job, you can use a hand masher or you can use a ricer for super smooth silky potatoes. So now it's time to finally add your cream or milk. You wanna make sure it's warm so it doesn't cool down your potatoes. And the most important thing is you wanna make sure you use lots. Don't worry, it can look like soup at first, but if you keep stirring, you'll see those potatoes just drink up all that cream. The final step for making great mashed potatoes is to add a few fresh herbs, chives are nice, or maybe parsley, and some butter. If you've done all of these things right, you're going to have fluffy, creamy, silky smooth mashed potatoes that will make you so glad you made them. And everybody at your table will feel the exact same way.